afternoon, and welcome to School News One. Today, the big story is the upcoming IAR test. IAR stands for Illinois Assessment of Readiness. We searched high and low and were able to find two people whose initials were IAR, just like the test. Surely that means they must know all about the test. We have brought them in today as our local experts on this new state test, and they are going to be discussing with us some ways that you can be better prepared for the IAR. Question number one. What should you do the night before you have an IAR testing session? Hello, my name is Miss I Am Ready. My friends call me Miss IAR for short. I was so honored to have a state test that was named after me. I spent hours researching tips to give all of you students today, and I'm so excited to share my knowledge with you all. For the first question, what should you do the night before? Well. Hmm. On my top 10 tips to success blog, I wrote about the importance of remembering that your brain and body need sleep to function well, so don't stay up late. It can also be helpful to avoid lots of screen time. You're going to need a good night's sleep and bright screens such as televisions, phones, movies, etc. Well, they will wake up your brain and make it more difficult to drift off to sleep. Instead, maybe you could read a book before you fall asleep and have the most pleasant dreams of testing. So, so listen, somebody told me that I was like this IAR, you know, like those are my initials, but I don't really have a clue what they're talking about. They tell me that there's this test or something that we gotta do and I remember one time when I was like little, this teacher said to me one time, like, why are you always on your screen and stuff? And I'm like, cause it's cool, you know? So this other girl I hear is IAR. She got a blog and something. Girl, I carry around like a log every now and then when I walk the alley. But this one time my mom, Right? She came into my room and it was like 4 o'clock in the morning and she was like, yo, A-I-A-R, get up off that screen. And I was like, but Ma, I'm just watching a little Fortnite, you know? Because really, at the end of the day, this, you know, that stuff matters. Like, like this and this and like, what's that other one? This one? I'm trying to learn all them jams, you know what I mean? Like that. So, I mean, technically, the other girl, I think, feels like she ready. But I feel like I'm ready. Question two. On the day of a big test, what do you suggest the students eat for breakfast? That is such a great question. I also spoke about this topic in my top 10 tips for success blog. Did you know that you think better on a full stomach? So don't you dare skip breakfast the morning of that test. Wake up early, have a healthy breakfast, here are a few good choices. Eggs and toast, cereal, bagel, fruit, juice, cheese, or milk. Enjoy. Breakfast. That's kind of tricky, you know, at my house. Like, I'll go to the pantry and stuff, and like, I know that there's probably like, like Lucky Charms and like a good Raisin Bran or something. But man, I keep my eyes on them donuts, right? So I get a donut, I get a good Pop-Tart. Sometimes I even, when my mom's not looking or she's sleeping or something, I'll go in there and I'll get in that candy jar, Jolly Ranchers, that's where it's at. A good Jolly Rancher will get you good. So, oh, I bet somebody else has something to eat like eggs or, I don't know, bacon, milk. I don't like that stuff, man. I don't like it. So I think maybe I'm not ready. Maybe I just want to eat donuts and stuff. Question three. How important is it for students to arrive on time at school for IAR testing? Well, it is super important to be on time to school every day, but especially during our IAR testing days. This will help the morning to be less stressful and rushed for you and ensure that you have plenty of time to eat breakfast here at school if you need to. Plus, if you come after testing has already begun, you will have to wait outside the classroom until everyone is finished. And then you'll have an extra test to make up on a different day. 
All right, well, that's an interesting question, you know, because some people think, yeah, man, I should probably get to school on time and stuff. But in my world, I mean, I think that the most important thing is a break, right? Like, give me a break, give me a break, give me a break from that I-A-R. So if I get to school late and I can take me a break outside the office, sign me up. Question four. For our last question, we were wondering if you had any suggestions for students while they are taking the assessment. Well, you know I have plenty of suggestions. Here are a few. Be sure to listen to any and all directions being given by your teacher. Before the test begins, make sure you have everything you'll need. Scratch paper, the computer, your headphones, extra pencils, your calculator, if you're allowed to use it. Read the instructions and questions carefully. You want to make sure you are marking answers to the best of your ability. Above all, have a positive attitude. Approach the big test as you would approach a giant jigsaw puzzle. It might be tough, but you can do it. A positive attitude goes a long way towards success. Things to do on the IAR assessment. Interesting. Check it. I hear there's some letters up on this test. I don't know much about them, so I pick what I think's best, whether it's the I, the A, the B, C, D. I'm gonna pick the one that's best for me. I'll pick an A, I'll pick a B, I'll pick a C, I'll pick a D. It don't matter, that's my strategy. And now, our IAR experts will take a practice test to show us exactly how ready they are. Hey. Hey. I might need a little help. I ain't ready. After watching that train wreck, boys and girls, it's obvious that Miss I Am Ready is the one to follow. Remember, do your best and keep it real. This is Mike Drop, signing off. <laughs> Question two. On the day of a big test, what do you suggest the students eat for breakfast? I don't know. So what do you eat every morning before you take a test? Me too. Question two. On the day of a big test. Why are you guys looking at me? Do I have a buggy? Whoa! Uh. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Um, I'm Check this. To the I, to the A, to the R, to the D. I-A-R-D. Look at me, you see. I don't know where I'm going or where I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to rap because I ain't ready. I got nothing left. Oh, dear Lord. Betty. <laughs>